If you're interested in trading with BetAngel, then visit our website where you can download a free trial of BetAngel Professional and BetAngel Trader. If you want to learn how to use them, then visit the Academy where we give you a detailed structured walkthrough of each product. And if you're an existing user, then head on over to the forum where we have a load of files for you to download to customize and use within BetAngel. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to bring in live race course data via total performance data and into BetAngel. And it's a relatively straightforward process. Uh, we've documented it on the blog and in the forum, uh, but I'll just walk you through this so that you can understand exactly uh, what you're trying to do and how you would achieve it. So the first thing you need to do is to get a license uh, key from Total Performance Data. And once you've got that license key, um, once you've subscribed to the stream from Total Performance Data, you can enter that license key into BetAngel. So if you click on the settings here, there's a tab within here that says total performance data and then you can enter the details there. So you can see I've entered my license key already and this confirms whether you're connected and how many um, races that you've used on that license. Um, you've got the status indicator here so you can check what's happening um, on any one particular day on TPD and there's other information on here that I'm not going to cover in this video. Most of this makes perfect sense and I have covered it in another video. But basically, once you've entered the license key, you can then start to bring that data into BetAngel. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So if you look at the screen, there's nowhere on the screen that shows any of this data whatsoever. So we need to pull that data in. And we're going to do that by using Guardian. I actually start nearly all of my activity on BetAngel within Guardian. So it's something you should get familiar with. But if you actually click on the G, it will bring up a list of races. And if there are no races in this list, then you can bring in the races via the variety of options that you have on this left hand pane and at the bottom of this particular area there is a whole host of ways of bringing in um, all of the data that you need but you can basically see I've selected all of the race courses today um, and these um, exclude race courses where total performance data is not available so for example at Chelmsford tomorrow um, it's not available there so if you try and bring in data from this race course it will not appear but it will appear at Foss Lass, uh, Wolverhampton, Chepstow, Newcastle uh, on these particular days, Lingfield here, but not at Weatherby, so and so on and so forth. But basically we need to pull the data in and we're gonna do that via an automation file. So if you click on automation, um, the file we're gonna use is speed, distance, um, and uh, speed, positions, and distance values. And you're thinking, well, where does that come from? We've made that file available for you on the forum. So if you go to the form, you can download that file and then you use the importer rules file to bring that into automation. You can actually see I've got a whole bunch of different bits of automation um, on here, but the one we're interested in is speed, positions and distance values. Once you've selected that automation rule, you can apply it to all of the markets um, or you can apply it to individual markets if you wish. It's up to you, but I'm just going to apply it to all of them. Race courses where it doesn't pull in the data, it won't pull in the data but for the ones that we've selected where it is available, then it will certainly do that for you. So if I just click um, on this particular race, we go back to the one click screen, the data can appear anywhere on BetAngel. So it could be the one click screen, ladder, uh, the spreadsheets, pretty much anywhere that you want to put it. Uh, it's entirely up to you. But the most important process is attaching that automation file uh, to pull that data in. So let's display that data uh, within the one click screen. So you can see on the screen in front of us there is no data coming in at the moment so we need to bring that data in and what we are actually going to do to bring that data in is we're going to import another file. So again you can see here I've got all of these uh, bits within here. We're going to use speed, position and distance and if you're thinking well where do you get that from? Again it's a file you can download from the forum. You can actually see that we have some import and export buttons here to bring in this particular grid layout if you don't see these options here, use the settings on the toolbar to reset the toolbar to bring it in. And again, you can see we've got the import and export grid layout here. So if you use the import grid layout, visit the forum, download that particular file, um, then that will actually bring in the screen that you can see we've got listed down here, which is speed, position and distance. So if I click on that, you'll see the screen looks a complete mess. And you're thinking, why does it look like that? That is because we've modified the custom columns on here as well. So you need to import those. If I go up to this menu here and do speed, position and distance, 
a presto, all of a sudden you can see all of the data coming in and the way uh, that it is displayed. That is complete. And to import the custom columns, you click on this star and then you can see we've got the import option here. And then of course you can see that appears as a menu item within custom columns. Now, what's also going to happen is you'll see it being displayed in different colors as well. So there is an option to import individual color settings as well. So you can see down here we've got button colors and this basically allows you to graduate the colors that you see. So it doesn't have to be pink, yellow, black, white, whatever. If you actually click on the um, spanner, you can actually import all sorts of color gradients uh, into the mix as well. So you can see we've got a whole range of different colors. Some are related to speed, some to distance, some are default measures. You can basically display all different types of columns containing all different types of information in all different types of colors. There's pretty much anything that you can do on BetAngel. And again, you would import these from the forum. What I tend to do is download each of these individual files to my hard drive and then import them in to BetAngel. So if we click on this item again here, I'll just highlight that the import button is down here. And of course you can export it to share with other people if you so wish. But basically, once you've put the rules file in, you've created the, uh, the custom color, the, the, the grid layout, then the custom columns, and then the coloring, you're all ready to go. And I know that that takes a few steps, but basically once you've done that once, you can actually then save that. So if we go up, you can see here we've got default default for the screen layout and the settings. If we go up here and we call this now horse racing in play, if I can spell it, for the screen layout, that will save the standard layout that we've got here. And if I go to settings and I do save as and I do horse racing in play, oops. That basically means if I want to trade another sport or a different stage of the market, I can just go to the drop down menu and select that screen layout and select those settings. Um, and if I want to do horse racing in play, I just go to the drop down menu and select the layout that I want. And then BetAngel will go from one style to the other with a couple of clicks from the mouse. So it just takes a few minutes to set up. Once you've done that, you can save those settings up here and you can flick between styles as much as you wish. But basically, that's how you would set up BetAngel to receive total performance data. So you can see that the race is in play now. You can see they are coming up to about half the distance of this particular race. You can see that the favourite is currently in fifth place um, and is about three metres behind the leader, who is Captain Claude. Um, so yeah, and you can see the graduation of colours here. And you'll see that um, over here as well, because this is looking at the last 5, 10 and the current miles per hour. You can, if you want to, sort. So we could actually say what's the shortest price. So we can see that um, the, the horse that's currently in front is basically uh, down here in terms of where the odds are likely to be. Or you could perhaps sort by position of runner. So can you see how you can modify uh, the way that you look at it, those individual elements of the screen? But yeah, basically, if you want to set up to receive data, um, and like I said, this can be used on the one click, the ladder, Excel, but basically displayed anywhere that you want. Um, that is how you would initially set it up. And the most important thing to remember here is that once you've set it up, it takes a few minutes to do that. But you can then save those settings so they're very easy to access uh, when you next want to use them.